Whenever there is a current in a cable, that current creates a magnetic flux. The magnetic flux follows the right hand rule. We have seen that. That flux is measured in Weber's. Depending on the shape of that circuit, that flux may link the circuit more than once. As in this case, we have that current and that current is creating a magnetic flux that is linking the circuit several times. How many times? N times, right? N times. Super, super. So what we care for is not only about flux, but as how many times that flux is linking the circuit. That's why we have defined, instead of flux, we have defined flux linkages, that is, how many times the flux links the circuit. That is important within the context of Faraday's law, where we say, whenever the flux changes, the flux linkages change. And uh, we have an induced voltage that is proportional to how quickly those flux linkages are changing with time. We have seen that, right? Uh, but uh, there is still the relationship of the current I here and the flux linkages that it's creating. How many Weber's of flux linkages are created by every ampere? You know who answers that question? The inductance. A current I creates L flux linkages in Weber's. L is a coefficient of proportionality. The units Weber's created a flux linkage for every ampere. And that unit, we've given it a name. That is the Henry. When you say that the inductance of a device is, for instance, 0 0.01 Henry's, that is 0 0.01 Weber's per ampere, what that's telling you is that for every ampere that flows through that device, you get 10 milliwebers of flux linkages. And that is the meaning of inductance. It is a coefficient of proportionality between current and the flux linkages created by that current. I hope this helps. Mr. Xiao.